Firefighters in California braved severe weather conditions overnight to protect the resort town of South Lake Tahoe from the massive Caldor fire. Now, the wind has died down just a bit, but the fire has now expanded to more than 320 square miles. Officials say it is expected to grow much larger before they can get it fully under control. Carter Evans is in Myers with more on the story. Carter, good morning to you. Well, good morning. The good news now, those high winds have finally calmed down, but the fire is still burning, and we're less than 50 yards away from homes that are heavily guarded by exhausted firefighters who've been battling this blaze for weeks with no clear end in sight. The Caldor fires pushing east toward the Nevada state line over terrain so dry and dangerous, officials say they may be forced to let it burn for miles. This is some steep, rugged, nasty country, and it's just not safe in a lot of it to put our firefighters up there in that stuff. Many of the more than 4,200 firefighters attacking this place have now been working nonstop for 19 straight days, using everything from helicopter water drops to bulldozers and hand tools. So far, they've been able to keep the flames away from South Lake Tahoe, partly by lighting backfires and clearing brush to slow the fire's advance. The wind's picking up right now, but this fire is actually backing down the hill, and that's what firefighters want to see. A big concern, though, are dead trees like this one. If this were to catch fire, it could fall across the fire break they've built, endangering homes on the other side. As flames now approach the Nevada state line, the threatened Heavenly Ski Resort is being transformed into a base camp for firefighters. There's a lot of work to be done down here, a lot of threats still down here with these small spot fires that are still burning down here. For Battalion Chief Dave Lochner, the battle is personal. He's in danger of losing his parents' cabin. Fatigue has to come into play. You've been on this fire since the beginning. Yeah, there are days where we're exhausted, but that's the job. We're ready to go, and we push through it. We're here till the end. One setback for firefighters this week, an entire strike team of 16 people was sidelined because of a COVID outbreak. In California now, Governor Gavin Newsom is asking President Biden for an emergency declaration so they can get federal assistance fighting this fire. Vlad? Carter Evans for us. Thank you.